Malcolm X's only child had criminal young adulthood, helped shape his radical views and gave him insight into the lives of his primary audience. Hundreds of thousands of African Americans trapped in the gutters of America's largest cities. When Malcolm was in prison, he encountered the teachings of Elijah Muhammad and the Nation of Islam. The religion appealed to the young, angry Malcolm. He was paroled from prison in 1952 and was a changed man both mentally and spiritually. Followers of Elijah Muhammad were taught that the white race had brainwashed blacks to be patient while enduring injustice on the earth. Malcolm adopted and preached this anti-white rhetoric, and because of this, he was considered racist by many people. By late 1963, Malcolm X broke his ties with the Nation of Islam. For the next year and a half, Malcolm X set out to create his own organization dedicated to achieving a better life for blacks in America as well as all people of African American descent. His organization of Afro-American unity became a powerful political force in a short period of time. By the time of the ballot or the bullet, race dominated America's domestic agenda. Millions watched police dogs tear into young African American children protesting for immigration in Birmingham. Presidents Kennedy and Johnson responded by proposing major civil rights legislation which passed in the summer following the ballot or the bullet. On February 14, 1965, Malcolm's home in Elmer's, Queens in New York City was firebombed. His pregnant wife, Betty Shabazz, and their four small children were unharmed. On February 21, 1965, just before he was due to deliver a speech in Harlem, Malcolm X was assassinated by three gunmen in front of his wife and three of his four children. The perpetrators were later identified as members of the Nation of Islam. In retaliation, the Nation of Islam's Mosque No. 7 in Harlem was firebombed hours later. The political philosophy of black nationalism, Malcolm X declared, means that the black man should control the politics and the politicians in his own community. We want freedom now, but we're not going to get it saying we shall overcome. We've got to fight until we overcome. <laughs>